Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Uh, in the last episode we basically finished catching every Safari Zone Pokemon. We've got 56 out of 108 so far. And uh, in this episode we are going to take on the Aqua Hideout. Uh, it's going to be the whole Aqua Hideout. As you can see, um, if you come here at any other time, there are like two goons standing here. I don't know if I showed you. But, uh, I'll be doing as many. Hey! Hey, get back here! I'm an intruder. I'm going to be doing as many, uh, trainer battles as I can. Just, you know, uh, train. I'm sorry, I was texting with a, a friend before I started recording, and, uh, I don't know if he was continuing to text me. I think before the next gym, I'm gonna have to train my Pokemon a bit. Ugh, Swagger, I hate Swagger so much. But Swallow's cool. Swallow's beast. He is not gonna let it get him down. He's gonna quick attack Poochina, and that's gonna be the end of it. Oh yeah, I was right. Booyah. Girl, I lost it. Uh, since these are just grunts, uh, I'm not going to read what they say. Basically, it's all going to be uh, um, like the main people, like Archie and stuff like that. Where does this take me? Okay, where does this one... Because that's the way I go. Where does this one take me? Um, Max Elixir. Alright, I guess we can do that. Uh, we gotta get to that room. Right there. That's an, There's an important item there. That's what we are going to need. See, uh, that's the continuation of the room. There's four Pokeballs in there. Alright. I'm tired, so as soon as I record this, I'm saving it. I'll edit it later, and I'm going to bed. <laughs> uh. Why do I still have Swellow out? Swellow won't be able to do anything to Carbon. Well, he'll be able to beat him, but Swellow will get hurt in the process. See? It is only five, but still. And I don't want to put Curlia first, because... Curlia is weaker. And there's a whole lot of dark types. So... I really don't want to risk. Is that the way I go? Or is this the way I go? I don't know. Let me check this way. And I can't run. Oh no, this is the way I go. Well, this takes me to the, uh, um, the room. Um, this way? Yeah. And this way. Oh yeah! Now, two of these are items and two are electrodes. This is an electrode. Let me see if I control him. Okay. Guess not. I was expecting him to use a uh, self destruct. Let me see if I can do it. And. Spark. Uh oh. Please don't kill Swallow. Please don't kill my Swallow. Okay, that's, that only does 20 damage. They always use self-destruct right away. What is taking this electrode so long? 20 damage. I can live with that. I've got potions to use. There he goes. Be an idiot. Give me some free experience. Now, Curly, I can train with them, but, uh, still, the whole thing where Curly is too weak. I should have some super potions. Yeah, here we go. Potions. One thing I do like about, um, white, black, the Unova games, white, black, white 2, and white 2, is you can keep using an item, and it won't run out until you do run out, so it's like, 
You don't have to go to the menu, click use, and use it on a Pokemon. Go back to the menu, use it. Like I did with the potions, I could have just clicked potion and clicked swallow twice. And swallow would have gotten all that um, health back right away. Doing it this way takes a little bit longer, and uh, in the newer games, it's a lot easier. I don't know what's with these electrodes. Usually, the first move they use is self-destruct. I don't know. Oh. Curlia. See if you can't do anything. Self to freaking struct and Curlia died yay <clears throat> swallow grew a level <sighs> I can revive him can I I have one revive great sorry Curlia you're gonna have to stay um, fainted that's just the way it is um, do I have any? Why would I waste a max revive? I only have one rare candy. No, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a nugget. I'm gonna sell it for like five thousand bennies. This is what we want. We want the master ball. Now, I know what you're thinking. He's gonna use it on Rayquaza. No, I'm not gonna use it on Rayquaza. I'm gonna use it on a different Pokemon later. One that's very elusive and very hard to find. Hmm. I'm gonna use it on that one later. Because using any other type of Pokeball is horrible and hard. I know. I've tried. I'm playing uh, my Emerald. I haven't played it in a while, actually. I should actually get back into it. Um, I have my actual Emerald cartridge I've been playing. And I'm trying to track him down in it and catch him with the uh, Ultra Balls and stuff like that. Because I can't attack him or else he runs away. <sighs> if any of you have played Emerald before, you will know who I'm talking about. It's a Pokemon you get to pick at the end of the game. Like, at the end of the main story. Well, after you beat the Elite Four for the first time, there's a newscast. Yeah, if you if any of you have played Emerald before and you've gotten there, um, you guys know who, which one of two Pokemon I'm talking about. You will know. So anyway, we're gonna take these trainers out. I'm not gonna press the uh, speed up button because uh, I'm just not because I'm not sure if it's gonna wreck the recording or anything like that. Um, a little news, um, well, if you've been on my channel for the past two days, or not, not, well, yeah, sort of past two days, um, I got my easy cap to work, so, um, the walkthrough I'm starting is, a uh, Sly Cooper, and I already have the first part up. The second part was supposed to go up today, Saturday, um, this, this video is going up Monday, but, um, I'm recording it Saturday, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it was supposed, part two was supposed to go up Saturday, but, for some reason, there's a submarine at the far end. Wow, yeah, that's a that's a secret. But anyway, um, Camtasia wouldn't upload properly today, so it was like, I'll wait. What's up? <laughs> uh, but I'm having a lot of fun recording with uh, EasyCat, making main console walkthroughs again. I'm really happy about it. Um, there's only one thing that I'm not really going to complain about, but it's like, um, the system that I'm using is AmCat. Uh, it's the only video recording software that I could get that my EasyCap works with on Windows 7. And it's got a 15 minute time limit before it says, would you like to buy? And you either click register to buy or don't and if you click don't it sh it shuts off but I can deal with it like if it's a game I've played and beaten I know 
how to, uh, um, I know how to, uh, time it right, so, it's really not a big problem for me. I mean, I just gotta take a lot of, take some time, and edit a lot, which I'm fine with. I'm used to editing sometimes. I think there's only like a couple more floors. <laughs> Nothing left to do but KO a pesky meddler. Yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to read them all unless they were important, but uh... Hey. <sighs> Whatever. I'm just, I'm just tired right now. I mean... My school has this um, thing called a research paper. Oh, we gotta read a book and then write a paper about about it like why like my senior year the theme of it is genre like the type of genre it is like a uh, fantasy um, mythical stuff like that and no I don't want it down and um I don't remember what I was going to say. And, uh, it's due this week, and I haven't even started it, which I'm going to start it tomorrow. Um, I work Tuesday, but I only work till 8, so I'll have a little while to do that. Um, probably Tuesday when I get home from school, I'll record Mario right away. Um, because I already have Sly Cooper recorded for the week. So, that means when... I I can record Mario after school. Oh, Zubat avoided the attack. You suck. Um, I can record Mario after school, and then I'll have my recording set for Wednesday because uh, Pokemon's only a Monday thing now, and I already have the first, the entire first level of Sly Cooper recorded. So there's like five areas. I already have the first area done. By the time you see this. Um, but only part two will be up. So I'll record an area every week or so. And next week's Christmas break. So I will have enough time to record. Ooh, Swampert level 40. Ugh. It's a good thing we're almost near um, the, the point where... I stopped using my starter because I don't want him to go past level 50 because I only do the level 50 what there's a kid um I only do the level 50 part of the battle frontier so I don't want any of my Pokemon that I'm gonna use to go past level 50 the only Pokemon I can't use in the level 50 are Tyranitar and Dragonite only because they don't evolve till 55 he he he, got here already, did you? We underestimated you. But this is it. I'm a cut above the grunts you've seen so far. I'm not stalling for time, I'm going to pulverize you. Now you have to battle this guy for the story, so that's why I read it. He's an admin, I think? Aqua admin, yeah. Only with two Pokemon, it's a Mightina and a Sharpedo, I wanna say? I wanna say it's a Sharpedo. <sighs> I hope it's a Sharpedo. Actually, no, I don't hope it's a Sharpedo. Because that means I've played this game way too much. I don't care. I love this game. This is my favorite Pokemon game ever. Ugh, Swagger. I hate that move. But anyway, um, I've played at least every Pokemon game's gist of the story. Like, I've played Soul Silver, but I haven't played Heart. No, I have played Heart Gold. I've played white, but I haven't played black. I've played white too, but I haven't played white or black too. I've played white too, but I haven't played white too. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. I played white too, but I haven't played black too. But they're the same thing, just like different Pokemon. And you can find like in in white and white too, you can find throw the poke the fighting Pokemon throw. And in uh, black and black two, you fight so you see sock instead. So it's stuff like that. That's the only difference. So I've played every story at least once. 
Um, I've played and beaten every Pokemon game except Silver, Red, I know. Red, Silver, um, oh no, Golbat. Whew. I mean, it's, I haven't played this game that much. Um, look at Dabra. Um, Red, Silver, um, Fire Red, the main comp, the main games, uh, Red, Silver, Fire Red, oh, I was pressing down, whoops, um, Pearl, Platinum, Diamond, I haven't beaten Diamond, I've played it, um, Black, and Black 2, and I still haven't beaten White 2 yet, so, I've played most of them, I haven't beaten most of them, ones I haven't touched, ever, like, ones I have not played ever, like, at all, would be Fire Red, Pearl, Platinum, Black and Black 2, I've played all the others, so, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Come on, Cadaver, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Defeat this goal bat. Ugh. Really? I want you to start training. Because when we get to the seventh gym, I want you to be an Alakazam. You will be my first Pokemon that I trade to evolve. Ah, whatever. To Torkoal will get rid of him with a strength. Boom. Take that goal bat. If you were a Crobat, I would have thrown you Swampert at the beginning. I hate Crobat. I love Crobat. He's really good, but he's really annoying. Flamethrower? Yes, please. Let me get rid of Smog, because Smog does nothing. But no, I love uh, Crobat when I'm using it, but when I'm battling it, I hate it. Hehehe, <laughs> so I lost too. Yes, you did. That took a lot longer than it usually did. Hehehe. <laughs> While I was toying with you, our boss got through his preparations. You said it wasn't stalling for time. Our boss has already gone on his way to some cave under the sea. If you're going to give chase, you'd better search the big, wide sea beyond Lily Cove. But will you find a den? Hehehe. <laughs> okay. Challenge accepted. So basically, we just leave the hideout, follow this guy, follow the leader. And... Do you remember, um, before there was a Aqua guy there training Whalmer? Well, the Whalmer are, really, the Whalmer are gone. So, uh, I have a tentacle. Get out of here. But anyway, the, uh, the Whalmer are gone. So, um, we don't have to, we can leave and go beyond Lily Cove now. Um, let me, let me just go heal really quick. Uh, yeah, I am gonna speed that up because, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's healing Pokemon. Um, the contest hall, I may do contests later. Um, like, there's six categories, I wanna say. Um, can I check them here? Search? Yeah, no, there's five. Cool, beauty, cute, smart, tough. Um, let me go quickly show you what happens when you win the master rank. Um, because you gotta win the normal rank, then super, then hyper, then master rank. And, uh, come in here and talk to the, uh, curator. He's over here. I'm the curator of this museum of fine arts. I'm heart it's heartening to see someone so young as you in our museum. Have you viewed our collection of paintings already? Just say yes. Oh, I do believe that you seem to be a Pokemon trainer. Have you any interest in paintings, too? Say yes. Ah, uh, excellent. You do like paintings. Then may I ask you to come with me? This is our special exhibit hall. As you, plain, as you can plainly see, there is not a single painting on exhibit. Here I don't wish to exhibit works of so-called classical art. Such classical works you can see on the, our ground floor. I wish to exhibit work that is far different from the classics. Art, after all, is not re restricted to old, famous works. This exhibit hall, I wish to fill it with 
modern and vibrant artworks of Pokemon seemingly ready to spring forth in a glorious life. I beg your pardon, I didn't intend to mon monopolize the conversation. Now as you are young, and yet obviously well traveled, you must encounter lively Pokemon and works of art depicting them. If you were to come across such a painting, may we ask you to obtain the artist's permission to exhibit it here. Okay. In my experience, the only way to get artwork in here is to win the Master Rank contests. Then, I'll explain it a bit when we get back to the contest hall. But, uh, you see there's five open slots, and there are... I don't want to go to my trainer card. Look at that beautiful. Um, there are five categories. Cool, beauty, cute, smart, tough. Whenever... I'm going to explain as we walk back to the contest hall. Whenever your Pokemon gets a master rank in one of the five categories, um, the artist will paint your Pokemon's picture um, differently than it normally would. I'm going to show you what it normally looks like. It normally just looks like a sketch. Let me show you. I know I'm dragging this episode out. I shouldn't. Do you see how it's just like a sketch? Um, there was a Zatu. There's a Tropius. And there's a Elekid. Or not, not an Elekid. And an Electric. That's what they are. They're usually just sketches when you win the normal Super or Hyper. But when you win the Master, he'll do the sketch of your Pokemon. Like, the Pokemon will be sketched, but it'll be in, like, a background that's, like, super colorful. And you can only do it once. So if you win, like, I win the Master Rank of Beauty with my Armaldo sometimes. Because using Mud Spore and Water Gun, like, makes the crowd go wild for some reason. Um... If I win Master Rank with Armaldo in Beauty, I cannot do a Beauty Master Rank again and get it in the museum. So, in the museum you can only get one Master Rank of Beauty, one Master Rank of Cool, one Master Rank of Tough. You get the idea. Um, so you can't just do Beauty after Beauty after Beauty after Beauty after Beauty. That'd be too easy. Um, in my experience, you can't do Milotic. I tried to Milotic, I got Master Rank, and the guy didn't come out and say, when you get it, and you know it's gonna go into the museum, he comes out and says, I painted you this beautiful work of art. I do not wish for it to be put here. And then he says, oh, there is a museum that is asking for paintings like this? And then you say yes, and he'll run up here, and your picture will be put on the top floor. But you gotta talk to the curator first before you do the contest, or else it won't work so uh my lodic doesn't work i think because its beauty is maxed out because to get a my lodic it has to be max beauty to evolve it so i'm pretty sure that any pokemon is eligible for anything except you can't do my lodic in beauty because you maxing out its beauty just i don't know doesn't work but anyway thank you for joining me uh while we're on the topic of Milotic, I will not, repeat, I will not be searching in the wild for Milotic because, er, Feebas, because they're only in one of every three squares. Here, I'll show you. Let me just, I'm not really going to fly. They're only found in this route, in the water. Only three squares of water, so where I'm standing is a square. I'd fish here. Here's a square. I'd fish here. Here I'd fish. It's here. Here is a square. I'd fish here. Like, okay, this is four here, four squares. Only three of these would have a fee bass. So imagine every square of that route having a fee bass, and you gotta fish each square three times before you give up and move to the next square. It is very. It is a trying, long an agonizing process and you and the three squares that determine where he is is by the saying in do for you know how the saying was like like the hip and hop and trendy thing i'm not going to do that how i'm going to do it is i'm going to trade it from a game that i already have um the pokedex completed 
uh, which I'm working on right now with uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Well, not not Ruby and Sapphire. Sapphire emulator. Um, so I'll get Feebas in that game, <clears throat> which I already have a Feebas. I think I have a Milotic. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played it. Uh, so I'll just breed a Feebas from there, and I'll trade it here. So thank unless I have a Feebas from there, then I'll just trade it over. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, next episode, we are going to travel to Moss Deep City, and we're going to see what's going on over there on the island. Because if you've played this game already, you know something's happening over there in Emerald that doesn't happen in Ruby and Sapphire. I'm talking a lot, so I'm just going to shut up. Uh, I talk a lot when I'm tired. So, thank you much for watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Uh, build the community, <laughs> as I like to call it. And I will see you later.